I can't just snap my fingers and make a plane. Believe me, I wish I could. Right now, we needed one. Bad. When we were coming over on the boat, I remember seeing an aircraft carrier. That gave me an idea. The Admiral Anderson. The name of an old sailor. When the first drone started attacking, this ship wasn't ready for battle yet. It was still in the dock, getting all rigged up. So they rushed to get her ready. I know about Anderson. In the previous Ocean War, he was the commander of a ship that sent out the last fleet of jets. They say the deck was sloping so bad as it sank, the last plane barely made it off. Those fighters ended the war. That story gives me a little bit of hope, especially at a time like this. We're all in the same boat, like it or not. If this war keeps going on like it is, it'll be the end of everything. The military loaded this thing to the rafters with planes. Some were fighters that were going to be delivered to bases in occupied territory. It was hit before it could complete the mission. Jackpot. The hangars were loaded with goodies. This scrap queen's got work to do. Trigger, everyone, listen up. The operation was a success. Erosion defense forces have been neutralized and all arsenal birds are down. However, those two new drones buzzing around have royally screwed up our plans. The Ocean and Erosian Coalition's air forces are in a sorry state thanks to them. We might not even have any viable aircraft. According to the Scrap Queen, the drones are trying to use the Space Elevator's transmission capabilities to send their data to drone manufacturing plants across the continent. They're trying to strengthen their numbers. What's worse, their data contains a depth of war experience, so the newer aircraft will be more tactically advanced. If that's the case, this war will never end. We need to take both drones down no matter what it takes. We'll do it. So we have homes to go back to. Well, the Scrap Queen's on our side. She says she can make any aircraft fly. This is our final mission. Trigger, let's go. We've got a goddamn war to end. All right, my friend, this is it. This is the last mission of this campaign. Mihai is down. Both Arsenal birds are down. And now all that stand between us and the end of the war are two drone Mihais. And if we don't take them down, they're going to upload their data to the space elevator. It'll go out to all the automated factories and they will make hundreds of drone Mihais and everyone's going to die. So we're going to take them down. It's us, Count Jaeger Hujan, some unnamed allies, and uh, Vit and Seymour over there from Soul Squadron. That's pretty much it. Let's go into the aircraft tree for the last time. See if there's anything we can get. Probably gonna take the Raptor, right? It's like really good. And it has quams, perfect. That'll be very helpful, I think, for these drones. Um, I got a lot of points. Ooh, damage recovery, that could be useful. The automated fire extinguisher. Overall mobility, yeah, I like those. They may get some hits off on me if I can repair that. That could be helpful. Mobility. That leads us to the F-35C Lightning II, which I can't afford, uh, but that's the main path that leads to the Raptor and we kind of took a side path. Stealth capabilities? I don't even know where that comes in handy. All right, I have points to spare. Let's get the MiG-29 A Fulcrum. That's a nice looking plane.
roll stability. I'm going for that special weapon reload. That's always helpful. Also get this one. That one looks nice too. I don't even know if I've gotten these planes before. I'm just getting them now so I can, you know, mess with them later. I think we're gonna take the Raptor into this mission. Uh, but it's just for fun and getting some more parts. What do we have down here? Standard missile lock-on speed. We got durability, bomb stuff, EML stuff, missile flight distance. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's probably good. <laughs> this is the only time we uh, fly out of this aircraft carrier and take the Raptor. Quams. We got 18. Hopefully that'll be enough. Let me take a look at these parts. All right. I think I'm ready to go. Let's do this thing. Strider Squadron, take off prep complete. Here we go. guys are rough. Hope you don't get 
It's a motion sick. All aircraft watch for escape lanes. Hit him. Oh god. Dugout was not struck. Yeah, I know. Love that they're throwing those lasers around too. That's what I need. Can't see it, but I'm glad I'm hitting it, I guess. Yo! I got one. There we go. One down, one down. Wow. Target is losing altitude rapidly. mini drones with lasers. I don't need this crap. Getting these hits. One better left. Come on, someone just get rid of it. You try it, Longcaster. This thing won't hold still. It did. It's just like the UAV the trigger shot down at Volcano Arrest. Is that the prototype that Wise was talking about? Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes. UAV is down. Radar signal is lost. That was definitely the most intense thing I've ever been in. I can't wait to tell my son about it. The space elevator is just powered up. Looks like we've made it in just a nick of time. Fortunately, you've prevented data that may have included Trigger's flying style from leaking. I've got a special bottle of wine for occasions like this. What do you say we open it? destroyed all the drones. It's stored away its wings, yet it's still flying. Can anyone hear me? That aircraft needs to be taken care of. She's right. I see something on the radar. The UAV is alive and kicking. Good chance that I crash in here. I learned something from my last squadron. Stick with trigger, and you'll make it. This is it. Count, give me your status. Alive. Excellent. So you're both okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What makes you think that? No time to explain. The radio will cut out soon. It'll take a short time for the drone to send over the data. There it is. UAV spotted. We finally found it. Static when the gate closed. Do you think the UAV is operating the gates? Well, there goes our only way out. I thought we were gonna pull this off after we get through that maze. No sign of the drone. Did it take another path? Doesn't matter. We know where it's going. We can catch it. I suck at <laughs> space elevator. The windbreak is hollow, and there's no ceiling all the way up. Not sure if my bird can handle it, though. Fly! Oh. I know you can make it! I'll attempt a belly landing. Get out of here! Everyone's waiting for you! This sucks. Okay, let's go. I wanted to wait until I had less fuel, but I have no choice. Attempting to land. I don't think my plane will make it. Anyway, here goes. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, Keep baby. Stay control. With me just a bit more. These elevators don't help. Count. Strider 1 has returned to radar. I did it! That's 
Our trigger! He's a damn hero! <laughs> no doubt. You're better than me. Where's Strider 2? Damn it. Does anyone have eyes on Count? Wish y'all could have seen that. <laughs> you damn fool. What's your position? Watching Trigger climb. I guess it's my fate to watch from down below. Yeah, well, we're all in the same boat there. Yeah, well, I guess we are. We're sending help. Give us your coordinates. Directly under the space elevator. Elevation is minus 500 meters. Minus? Hey, Trigger. You dumbass. Tell me something. What color's the sky up there? Belt. I can't tell you how proud I am to be the first to land Wait, this Wait, what was that transmission? This is Captain K. Nagase of the spaceship Pilgrim One. The ocean of stars in our galaxy is finally within our reach. To the pilot who generously gave this spaceship a place to dock, we are forever grateful. The universe lies ahead of us, waiting to be discovered. Last, we have a gateway to ascend to it, over and over again. It's all coming together for me. Today was the day, the moment of her return. I salute the pilot who gave us all a future. Skies unknown. The path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Grandad. The refugees built the settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. A humanitarian mission from Yuktuvania airdropped some supplies for them again today. Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. Handing out the relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka, George. I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. Mihai. That cranky old geezer's here with us, too. I never wanted to create anything, and now here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future for themselves and the world. Is this my punishment, then? All I do is lie here, wasting away. I'll never know the freedom of flying the open skies ever again. I've been grounded, and my wings have been clipped. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed at a ripe old age. Peace is what those girls are working so hard for here. We got a bunch more refugees today. And the princess? She's looking to the stars. Dark blue, to the heavens and beyond. Can you hear me? All right, everybody, that's it. That's the end of the campaign of Ace Combat 7. Thank you very much for watching me. I hope you enjoyed it. This game is so 
cool. Like it's it's crazy. It's really weird. Uh, it's got a lot of weird things in it, but man, it's fun to play, and I just love it. I'm really glad that I found out about it when it was coming out, and it got me into the series. And like I mentioned before, I haven't really played any of the other games. I kind of want to. I kind of want to go back and play some of the older ones that everybody liked. And of course, I'm very excited for Ace Combat 8. Um, they have said that they're working on it, but we don't know any details about it yet. Uh, but I am waiting, and uh, it, when that comes out, there's a PC port. I'm I'm all over that, and we will play it on here. So there's a lot to talk about with that last mission. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's like the best mission in the game, but it's pretty good. Um, I think it it wraps things up nicely uh, because the whole game is kind of about you know, drones and AI taking the place of pilots, and, and near the end, they start getting too smart, you know, uh, Dr. Schroeder was trying to make them as good as Mihai so that Eruja could continue fighting the war, but then it seemed like it was really getting out of hand, and, and people didn't have control of them anymore, and uh, Hugin and Moonen were going to just create tons of super advanced drones that no one would ever be able to take down, so... I'm actually really surprised that I got through that mission without crashing at all. Usually, I <laughs> crash in the tunnel, or when Count's like, okay, fly up the space elevator. Like, it's really hard to get the angle on that. And usually, I crash into the wall at least a couple of times, but I did it on my first try. Very exciting. But yeah, we lost a lot of characters throughout the game. You know, pretty much all of Spare Squadron is dead by the end, except Count. Um, and like, Bandog, who we never hear from again. I'm also a little disappointed that you never hear back from, like, Clown and Knocker. Um, I think it would have been cool if they showed up at the end uh, in the in the last mission where we take down the Arsenal Bird, if they showed up there. I think that would, that would have been pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, you never hear from them, so we don't actually know what happened to them. Um, I just think it'd be fun for them to be like, Oh, I remember that guy. You know, we were there when he got <laughs> arrested, <laughs> and now he's a hero. And then, yeah, we never, after we leave uh, Bandog and that other guy that I hate, uh, we never hear back from them either, uh, which is too bad. But we do spend about half the game with Strider squ Squadron, so we get to know, you know, Longcaster and Jaeger and Hoosian pretty well. And I do like them. Uh, Jaeger, <laughs> Jaeger mentions his son a lot for a character who doesn't die in the game, right? There's like three or four times he's like, I can't wait to tell my son about that. And you're just like, this guy's gonna get shot down. Like they're setting it up um, to be a sad thing where he, you know, leaves his son because he dies during a mission, but he's fine. Nothing happens to him. He just, he just has stories for his son. Actually, now that I think about it, I feel like I read that his son is in another game. Like, there's another Jaeger pilot in one of the earlier games, and so he's supposed to be, you know, he's that character's dad. I, is that true? I feel like I read that. We'll have to go back and find out. But yeah, in the end, what is the game about? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and it doesn't really matter, because it's, it's fun to play through, uh, really. But it kind of touches on a lot of things. Uh, you know, several characters kind of get into the war is bad, we shouldn't have war innocent people suffer, like, that's that's very true, but at the same time, we also spend the entire game uh, destroying things and killing people in a plane, so. There's a lot of romanticization of fighter pilots, you know, and being in the sky and that being their domain. That's kind of Mihai's whole thing, you know, he's like, I own the sky, I'm the best pilot ever. Um, and so you're kind of fighting him on his, his own turf. And, of course, a big part of the game is uh, talking about how AI is dangerous and, you know, we shouldn't put all of our trust in AI because if it gets out of control, then you're kind of out of luck. Anyway, whatever the message of the game is, it's really cool. Uh, the story is a little convoluted, but it works. The music is amazing. The action is amazing. And uh, I love how much is on the aircraft tree. As you saw, we only got through about, I don't know, a third to a half of it. Uh, so there's still a lot. Uh, that I could unlock and go back and play with. Really fun game. Highly recommend it, of course. Now, that is the end of the campaign, but we are not quite yet done. 
And that is because there are three DLC missions that came out after the game was released. I have bought them. I have never played them before, and I've never watched anyone play them. So they are going to be brand new to me, and we're going to do the first one next time. I don't have any idea what we're getting into, but I'm excited to find out. So I'll see you guys next week.